Good morning and welcome to Kid City. I'm Leslie and I'm so glad you're here with me today. For the next few weeks, we are going to be hearing stories from the Old Testament. The Old Testament is the first part of the Bible and the Bible is God's special book that tells us who he is and who we are to him. We are going to hear another story this week that teaches us about how big and strong God is. We'll watch a guy named Gideon who was able to be big and strong too because he listened to God. Before we watch our Bible story though, let's get up and sing. Let's sing big and strong together. Keep us moving around. Good job. We're going to sing My God is Big and Strong. Let's sing it out together. My God is big and strong. dancing. You can all sit down now. That was so fun. I love telling God how much I love him. So I think I'm going to send him a valentine too. <laughs> That's nice of you, Melly. Now, are you ready to hear a big, strong story from the Old Testament? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see how God is more powerful than a superhero. Me too. So let's put on our listening ears. Got him. Let's put on our thinking caps. Got it. And let's watch our Bible story. <laughs> yeah. Slapstick Theater, Gideon's 300 Men. This is Gideon, hey. who was a judge of Israel. In the time when Gideon lived, a group of people called the Midianites were taking over the Israelites' land. Get out of here! And the Israelites were starving. Yeah. So the Israelites asked God for help. God chose Gideon to rescue the Israelites and gave him the power to lead an army of Israelites. One day, Gideon and his army got up early and came close to the Midianite camp. God told Gideon that he had too many warriors with him. Really? So God told Gideon to let all the men who were scared go home. All right, uh, you can go home. Phew. So 22,000 men went home, and Gideon was left with only 10,000. But God told Gideon that he still had too many men with him. Uh, what, really? He told Gideon to bring the men down to the water and that God would give them a test. Okay. Gideon did as God asked, and then God said, Divide the men in two groups. In one group, Put all those who cup water in their hands and lap it up with their tongues like dogs. In the other group, put those who kneel down and drink with their mouths in the stream. 
only 300 men drank from their hands. God told Gideon, With these 300 men, I will rescue you and give you victory over the Midianites. Send all the others home. So Gideon did as God said. You can go home. That night, God told Gideon to get up and go down to the camp to listen to what the Midianites were saying. Hey, Pura, let's go. Gideon and his servant Pura went down to the camp and saw the huge army. There were too many men and camels for Gideon to even count. Whoa, well, that's a lot of camels. But Gideon heard a soldier telling another man about a dream he had that showed them that God would give Gideon victory over the Midianites. When Gideon heard this, he worshipped God. Come on! Then Gideon and his army of 300 men went down to the Midianite camp. They blew their horns and held torches in their hands. They yelled out and the Midianite soldiers rushed around in a panic and tried to escape. Then God caused the Midianites to start fighting against each other. Because of God's power, Gideon and his army had victory over the Midianites that day. Wow, wow, wow! God is amazing! Did you see that? He's so strong, and he made that guy in the Bible strong too. I wish I could be like that. You can, Melly. Really? Yeah, God gives us strength today too. God wants to give us the courage we need to do what he asks us to do. There's a Bible verse that tells us that we can be strong and courageous. It's 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Oh, what does it say? It says, be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Oh, I like that. It makes me feel like I can be a superhero for God. Yeah, it does kind of sound like that. Well, do you want to learn it? Yeah. Great, let's stand up. On your feet, not your hands. And let's sing 1 Corinthians 16, 13. <laughs> yeah. Let's sing 1 Corinthians 16, 13. We're gonna start out singing some woes, okay? So I wanna hear you guys sing it out. Let's go. down. I liked the part where we went, Wah! Me too. I like that song because it reminds us that we can be strong and courageous. Now, Molly, it's time for something really fun. Oh, what? Winston has been working on new episodes of the Super Skeppets. Really? Oh, boy. I love the Super Skeppets. Me too. So let's go and meet up with him and see how the Super Skeppets save Skeppets in today. <laughs> on a cold, dreary day in Skeppeton, Han was working in his lab when it... Hmm. Oh, I got it! When it exploded! It gave everyone super power! Thus, the formation of the Super Scuppets, a group of heroes who are committed to fighting for truth, hope, and the Scuppeton way! These are the adventures of the Super Scuppets! The Dark Scuppet had escaped! 
escaped and was up to something sneaky. But the super scuppets were hard at work trying to figure out how to defeat him again. Oh, look, I made a new superhero costumes. See? Pizza Man! Oh, that's nice, Bestos. Thank you. Do you want one, Toos? No sign of him anywhere. What is he doing? Pizza Man! Ugh, why did I ask? I think I figured out how to track the Dark Scuppet. How? If he is using robots, he has to be able to control them. If I can figure out how he's controlling them, I can track his location. That's so smart, Han! Now, if only I could get close enough, I could find out exactly how he's doing it. I don't think there'll be a problem! Let's go! That's right. It's a little electric canary. What? There's no time to figure that out. We've got to get rid of these things. No! There's so many of them! I have an idea, but you guys have to get everyone out of here. And you have to get out of here, too. No way, Sora. There are way too many of them for you to take on on your own. You have to trust me. I can do this. We trust you. Be careful. We have to act fast. Get everyone out of here. And Han, figure out how the Dark Scuppet is controlling them so we can track him. On it. Okay. Good luck, Electric Canary. Come on, Gabriel. Come on, Purple Lady. I will keep you safe with marshmallows. I got it. Electric Canary, you're clear. Okay, now get out of here. You did it, Electric Canary! I told you you could trust me. Did you figure it out, Professor Orange? Yes, I did. Now we can track the Dark Scuppet as soon as he turns on his robots. Looks what I made! Mmm, that looks good, Commander Jellybean. Dive in! I think he meant dig in. And with that, the Super Scuppet stopped the first of the Dark Scuppet's robot attacks on Scuppetin. They would go on to fight another day, but for today, they celebrated their victory and enjoyed some perfectly toasted marshmallows. Hmm. a super scuppet, what power would you want to have? Hmm, I'd like to make it rain jelly beans just like Commander Jelly Bean. <laughs> That'd be fun. I would want to talk to animals. That would be a really cool superpower. You know, I like the story that we saw today from Super Scuppets, and I think we can learn something from it. Like how to make it rain jelly beans? I think we can learn something about how we can be strong and courageous for God. Oh, that's amazing! How can we learn that? Well, let's meet up with our friends, Kurt and Winston, and see what they can tell us. Okay, but do you think we need our listening ears? Yes, I do, so let's put on our listening ears. Got them. And our thinking caps. Got it. All right, let's go meet up with Kurt and Winston. Yeah! <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Kurt. And I'm Winston! Welcome to my Super Scuppet Comic Headquarters! Winston, I love seeing all this Super Scuppet stuff because I love Super Scuppets. Hey, Winston, do you think I could be a Super Scuppet? Um, I don't think so. You're not a Scuppet. Aw, oh, man. Okay, well, let's just pretend I am a Scuppet. Okay. What superpower would I have? Like, maybe I could be super strong or I could have a super hammer. Mm -hmm. How about we give you the ability to launch stickers out of your hands? What? Uh, is that really a superpower? Of course it is. I would love that power. Then you could have stickers whenever you want. And if you were in a battle facing the Dark Scuppet, you could launch stickers at him and he gets stuck. It'd be perfect. Hey, maybe you should be a Super Scuppet. Well, maybe I could make that work. But hey, I wanted to tell you about my favorite part of the Super Scuppets episode today. Oh, yeah? What was it? Well, I loved when the electric canary faced off against all of those little robo-electric canaries. That was awesome, right? 
so awesome. And I liked how Zara knew that she had what she needed to defeat them. But I'm sure it was a little scary for her to face off against so many of them. Yeah, but she said she could do it. So we trusted that she could do it. That's great. You know, that reminds me of a story in the Bible about a guy named Gideon. Oh, what happened to him? Did he face many robots too? <laughs> no, they didn't have robots back then, but he did face a huge army with just 300 men. Now, to us, it may seem like Gideon didn't stand a chance, but he had someone super powerful on his side. Who was it? Hector Swift? More powerful than Hector Swift. He had God on his side. Gideon trusted God and they won the battle. Whoa, that's so awesome. God is so strong. He is, and we can trust God to give us what we need. When we trust God, that means that we believe that God will do what he says he's going to do. Um, um, will God ask me to do big things? Yeah. God has a very special plan for each and every one of us, and he will give us everything we need to do what he's asking us to do. He will make us feel strong, even if we feel weak. Whoa, God is like the most awesome, powerful superhero team leader ever. He is. Remember friends, you can trust God to give you what you need. He loves you so much. And so do we. We'll see you back here next time for another episode of the Super Scuppets. Bye! See ya! Good job listening, you guys. That story of Gideon makes me feel like I can be strong and courageous too. All Gideon had to do was listen to God, and then God gave him all he needed to be big and strong. Remember that God is bigger and stronger than anyone or anything, even a superhero or a super scuppet. And God is all we need so that we can be big and strong too and to listen and do the things he wants us to do. Before we go today, would you pray with me? Thank you, God, that nothing is bigger or stronger than you. Thank you that you always give us the strength to do what we need to do. Thank you that your power is available to each kiddo who's watching today. I pray that they would know how much you love them and how strong they can be with you. Amen. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time.